Question 12. Now, the hardest thing about this probability question is, is thinking and recognising that a Venn diagram is probably the easiest way of tackling this. So I'm just going to quickly sketch a Venn diagram. Right, we've got they either like, they like some of them like tea, some of them like coffee, some people like milk, all right? And we've got there's 50 people all together. Now the trick when you're filling this in is sort of knowing where to start from. So it does say that 19 people like all three drinks. So let's put 19 right in the centre. And then 16 people like tea and coffee, but not milk. So just think about where that goes. So that goes just there. Sometimes it's a good idea just to tick these ones off as you go. Now, 21 people like coffee and milk. Now, that doesn't mean 21 is going to go there. Two is going to go there because it says 21 people like coffee and milk. So that includes the 19. So now we've accounted for that one. 24 people like tea and milk. So that's exactly the same idea. So this one in here will be five. 40 people like coffee. So remember the whole circle has to be 40. So 16, add nine, add two, add three is 40. One person likes only milk, just that. And what one bit of information I just missed as well is that all 50 people liked at least one of the drinks. So there's a zero just there. Now we know that everything added together is 50. So we've got one missing, so we can fill it in. There we are. What was the question here? Work out the probability. So if we select one person at random, work out the probability that this person likes tea. Well, how many people like tea? Well, if you add up the tea circle, it's 44 and there are 50 people all together. Um, it doesn't say anything about cancelling this down, but you could write 22 over 25, or if you want to write it as a decimal, it'd be 0.88. Right, now then, part B. Now the key word here is the given. Now given that the person selected at random from the 50 likes T, so what does that mean? It means that the person that you're selecting, you know, before you do anything at all, you know they like T. So they belong in that T circle. Find the probability that this person also likes exactly one other drink. So of those 44 people in the T circle, how many of them like exactly one other drink? Well, that's the, the 5 and the 16, 21. 